This comes from Mark chapter 2, verses 23 to 27, and this is the New International Version. One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the grain fields, and as his disciples walked along, they began to pick some heads of grain. The Pharisees said to him, look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? Jesus answered, have you ever read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need? In the days of Abathar, the high priest, David entered the house of God and ate the consecrated bread, which is lawful only for the priests to eat. And he also he ate also with did. his companions. Then he said to them, the Sabbath was made for men and, and women, not men and women for the Sabbath. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. And I love that text because I think that that not just was the Sabbath made for us, or excuse me, yes, not just was the Sabbath made for us, but I think communion was also made for us. This is not something that that we are forced to do. This is something that we gladly are able to participate, in, that we are gladly able to join. And in the Methodist Church, we join the great Thanksgiving when we come to the table. We join all Methodists and all believers and all Christians around the world. We join all those who have come before us in the faith, and we join all those who will come after us in the faith. And when we gather around this table, something magical happens. It's a, it's a mystery that happens, but that mystery was made for us. And so when we join around the table, even if it's digitally, we join knowing that, that God has made communion for us, that we may enjoy it, that it may give us food for the journey, that it may continue to feed us as we go forward. Amen. As we enter into the great Thanksgiving, um, th there is a little bit of the uh, call and response. Um, if you, if you uh, know it, you know it. If not, that's okay as well. The Lord be with you. And also with you. With you. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks. thanks. Blessed are you, our Alpha and our Omega whose strong and loving arms encompass the universe. For with your holy word and holy spirit, you are forever one God. Through your word, you created all things and called them good. And in you, we live and move and have our being. When we fell into sin, you did not desert us. You made covenant with your people, Israel, and spoke through prophets and teachers. In Jesus Christ, your word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, 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 holy Lord. God of power God and might. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the in the highest. highest. It is he who comes in the name, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Holy are you, and blessed is Jesus Christ, who called you Abba, Father. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embraced a people as your own and filled them with a longing for a peace that would last and for a justice that would never fail. In Jesus' suffering and death, you took upon yourself our sin and death and destroyed their power forever. You raised from the dead the same Jesus, who now reigns with you in glory, and poured upon us your Holy Spirit, making us a people of your new covenant. Now, friends, I hope that you have prepared uh, bread and juice or a cup mm -hmm. and crackers. I have milk um, and crackers because apparently this is all I have left in my house today. Um, <laughs> but I just want to make sure that you have this with you. Uh, we have uh, mm -hmm. a couple of minutes if you don't and need to collect it. On the night before meeting with death, Jesus took bread he gave thanks to you, Father. He broke the bread. He gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, Jesus took the cup. He gave thanks to you. He gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, 
we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Friends, uh, I invite you to just hold a hand out over the elements, the, the, the bread or the juice or the cup and the milk, uh, whatever that is, as we pray the prayer that the Holy Spirit will enter. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on, and on us gathered digitally and on these gifts that in breaking of this bread and drinking from this cup, we may know the presence of the living Christ and be renewed as the body of Christ for this world redeemed by Christ's blood. As the grain and the grapes, once dispersed in the fields, are now united on these tables in bread and cup, so may we, be, we, may we and all of your people be gathered from every time and every place in the unity of your eternal household and the feast of your table forever. Through Christ, with Christ, in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Friends, let us pray the prayer that Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, art in heaven hallowed, hallowed be, thy be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy, kingdom come, thy, will, be thy will be done on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, us this our, day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive, as we forgive those, those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, not into temptation but deliver us from, deliver us from evil. For thine is, for the, thine is the kingdom, the power, the, power, the glory, and the glory forever. forever. Amen. 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 Friends, because we are one body, we eat from one loaf. And even if today the loaf is in different places, it is still one loaf. And so this is Christ's body. Take and eat and share it with one another. If there are more than one person in the room, uh, hand a piece of bread or cracker to the other person um, that they may be able to, that you may feed them and they may be able to eat. But this is the body of Christ. This is the cup of salvation. Whether it is juice or water or milk, whatever you have, this is the cup of salvation. This is Christ's blood this, this evening. Drink. Amen. Friends, let us pray. Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the spirit, in the strength of your spirit, to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 Friends, that concludes the service. You may go in peace.